Ihalmakunaka Sinn Féin candidate for Dublin Bay North. This is one of the most important general elections in our history. We can choose more of the same, growing inequality, a massive housing crisis and chaos in our health services under Fine Gael and Labour, or we can choose a new way forward, a fair recovery for all our people. I want to give effective representation to the people of Dublin Bay North and to be part of a Sinn Féin team that can bring about real and lasting change. We will, in government we will abolish the unjust water charges and the Irish water quango and scrap the family home tax. We will not reward the greediest and the wealthiest with tax cuts but will use revenue to rebuild our health services and tackle head on the massive housing crisis. And in this centenary year of the 1916 rising we will build a real republic, a united prosperous Ireland. Be laying some Obershin. Well, the main issues uh, that are coming up on the door are still very much water charges. Uh, many people are angry about that and want to know our position, and of course, we're 100% opposed and will abolish water charges in government. The issue of housing is very important. Many people are in real distress because of lack of housing. Um, also, employment and really trust because people have completely lost any trust they ever had uh, in this government and the parties that make up uh, the government, and they want to see an alternative. Uh, and I think uh, we've fought a great campaign in this area so far uh, and nationally. And I want to thank everybody who's given us such a great welcome on the doorsteps. I think we are on course to deliver two Sinn Féin TDs in this constituency and to play our part in uh, getting rid of this rotten government and electing a real progressive Republican alternative. Protests have been held across the country this afternoon. Organisers say up to 100,000 people are expected to attend. An estimated crowd of 400 gathered for the first of the protests in Donovan in Dublin a short while ago. Hundreds of people taking part in one of the first of today's protests against water charges. Tens of thousands are expected to take to the streets over the course of the day in what could be one of the largest displays of opposition against government policy. We believe that we do have the government on the run. They're talking about making all kinds of so-called concessions. Uh, I think they're actually panicking now because they saw 100,000 people on the streets of Dublin a few weeks ago. I believe they're going to see that number and upwards today uh, right around the country. Uh, I'm a Sinn Féin councillor, Dublin City Council, Michal McDonagha. I'm a member of the Moore Street Advisory Committee of the City Council and I want to wholeheartedly endorse and sign the pledge on my own behalf, uh, on behalf of Sinn Féin and on behalf of all our candidates. Uh, we've worked tirelessly over the last number of years with the campaign, with the 1916 relatives and with people throughout the length and breadth of this country and indeed abroad to save this historic street and I emphasise street, it's the national monument it's this terrace and it's the entire street which forms a central part of one of the most historic sites in our country and indeed in Europe. We're here beside the Paris Bakery. I won't detain you long because we want to get to the main business. But it just reminded me, when the Moore Street Advisory Committee met Minister Deanahan a few months ago, he waxed lyrical about uh, how good Moore Street still was commercially and it was still a great place to visit. And he mentioned the Paris Bakery. And one of his officials actually turned to him, and we could hear him, and he said, Minister, you've consented to demolish the Paris Bakery. So that's the extent of the, the knowledge and commitment of the Minister. The officials are very much in charge. And as the, the uh, chairperson has said, NAMA is very much central to this saga. They must be challenged. They are an arm of the state. In my own area, I'm dealing with people who are being rack-rented by landlords who are in NAMA, people who are actually facing homelessness because of uh, rack-renting landlords who are actually in NAMA. And the question has to be asked, what is the social role of NAMA? And the same question needs to be asked about this street. What is the role of NAMA in allowing, potentially, this street and this historic quarter to be destroyed? Well, whatever their role and whatever the government does, I think there are enough people here today and in the future, if an attempt is made to touch a brick on this terrace, I think this crowd will be multiplied by many thousands. We will not allow it to happen. Yeah. <laughs> said here in this ruling, uh, the, mo the motion is being allowed for debate on the council, isn't that correct? 
been allowed for debate. The manager has given a statement on it, and I'm allowing you to okay, speak well, 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 as well, a mover of the motion. Well, I'll speak on it, and I'll speak on a point of order also, because I just want to make clear, uh, we submitted this motion in good faith about 12 days ago, in good time. There was no question of any ruling that, uh, uh, that has been uh, given tonight that this wouldn't be debated, wouldn't be taken. Absolutely no question at all. This legal advice is now pulled out of a hat on the night of the meeting, the very night of the meeting. And I, I wonder, did it come from uh, civic offices or from the Custom House? And I suspect it was from the Custom House that it came. The, if you read the Act, it says, the performance of any function of a local authority generally. Now, this is not a function generally. This is a very specific issue, a very specific action which the city manager would undertake if the uh, council rents were increased as a direct result of the so-called local property tax, which of course is a family home tax. That's a very specific action. And uh, this is exactly what Section 140 was designed to do. So it's quite in order, and we do not accept in any way, shape or form that this motion is not in order. It should be put before the meeting, it should be voted on by the meeting one way or the other. And it would be an absolute travesty if this motion was not put to the meeting. Monaghan County Council the, had an identical motion. It was tabled, it was de uh, deemed to be in order, it was debated and it was passed, it was adopted. So the situation in County Monaghan now is that the County Manager is precluded from adding the uh, property tax or an increase in rent uh, on the basis of the property tax to council rents in County Monaghan. So you cannot have that ruling in another county and this county and this uh, ruling in the city of Dublin. It makes no sense uh, whatsoever. Uh, in relation to legislation, uh, it was mentioned uh, legislation. There is no legislation to uh, require the council to uh, put this uh, tax onto the rent. But, uh, Navin Town Council, I understand, has increased the rent as a result of uh, the local property tax. And we're told that the Minister is contemplating uh, and I'm possibly on the point of publishing or announcing legislation to either empower or require local authorities to put uh, up the rents on the basis of this unjust tax. So we totally contest this ruling. We don't accept it. And on the basis of the, of the motion, I will, I will go on. This is an unjust tax. Council it's an unjust up. tax which should not be imposed on citizens. Okay. Full stop. Thanks, Councillor I'm going to allow the manager to make your five minutes. This proves that it is not a, huge agenda a local on the property item. tax. It is not local because it's okay. not benefiting local government. Vincent, it's not, it's not when a you come in, we have Council, people, you've already had your five minutes. We have a situation you've already had your where five. people in local authority housing, they do not own their homes or their apartments, yet they are to be levied on the basis of a property tax, a so-called property tax. It's an absolute disgrace. It's an absolute farce. Councillor, your time is up. Tonight. I'm going to allow the manager to come and in now and just respond. It will be a farce. Councillor, your time is up. Vincent, to you want to people in the City of Dublin that this motion could not even be properly discussed and wouldn't be put to a vote. Who has been protected here? I believe this is a route to protect the members of the Labour Party. I won't have to vote on this motion. To protect the time is up. Your time is up, Councillor McDonough. Vincent has gone to give an explanation. tenants from yet another attack. Yet another De attack. Deputy Lord Mayor, the position, the position is, is that another attack. Oh, Councillor McDonough, Councillor McDonough, your time is up. Deputy Lord Mayor, for five tenants. minutes now. And on Allow the, the manager to make some decisions. Deputy Lord Mayor, I did take this. It is an absolute disgrace. Deputy Lord Mayor, Councillor O'Toole was. Yeah. Go on, Vincent. Vincent, you just speak. Just speak. Hiding behind this council, Councillor McDonough, you've been given your five minutes. You've spoken on the issue now. The manager is going to come in. Councillor McDonough, if you don't sit down, I'll have to ask you to leave the chamber. We have a huge agenda tonight now. Face up to it. Councillor McDonough, Councillor McDonough, leave the chamber. Councillor McDonough, this is your last warning now. Vote to put. Councillor McDonough, Councillor McDonough, that's what they want to do. Councillor McDonough, this is your last. This is your last warning. Resume your seat. Totally the the resume your seat. Resume your seat, or you can remove yourself from the chamber. Councillor McDonough, you are given five minutes. Councillor McDonough, leave the chamber. You've already been given a warning. Ray, could you please remove?
Dublin Sinn Féin councillors uh, have been meeting today uh, in advance of next week's uh, budget, the, uh, the budget here in, in the state which is going to impose savage cutbacks again, uh, both on public services, um, local authority services, health and education. So we've been discussing Sinn Féin's pre-budget campaign, presenting our alternative budget um, and campaigning with people who are opposing the cuts. Uh, last Monday at the Dublin City Council uh, we put forward an alternative Sinn Féin budget to, to and particularly to assist uh, vulnerable people to uh, increase the housing budget because there's a housing crisis in, in this city. Uh, local authority housing has never been at such a, a low level of provision. So we're presenting the alternative all the time, both in terms of city council, local authorities around the country and uh, nationally for a fairer budget.